right, so let's start with recruiting. This is where it all starts. If we know that recruiting is where the big money is at in our business, why don't we do it? What stops us from recruiting? Our perceptions. We think that if we're going to be a great recruiter, a consistent recruiter, that we have to get pushy. In fact, I'll tell you a little secret. My daughter um, said to me a few weeks ago, uh, she, I was giving her you know, advice, like I do, but since she's my daughter, it was motherly advice versus coaching advice, right? Um, and it's not always received in the best, you know, in, in, uh, as easy as it is with you guys. And so I'm talking to her about you know, these people, and I followed up with her and say this, and she said, I don't want to be pushy, Mom. We don't have to be pushy to be great recruiters. In fact, it doesn't work at all. When is the last time you were at a store and there was a really pushy salesperson helping you and you actually purchased from them? You walked right out of the store, didn't you? We were at a timeshare, and we are big fans of timeshares. It's a good deal, we're on it. But we were at a, a timeshare presentation with, I can share the company with you, you know them in a heartbeat, well, well respected hotel chain. And uh, they were giving us the presentation and the program was great. And we had launched our Average to Excellence company about two months prior. And we said, you know, this is a fantastic program. We just launched our own business, though. And so everything we've got is tied up in Average to Excellence. But, um, you know, give us a year or so, we'll be back. And we really, really like your program. And so then they brought in the closer. And we said, we really like your program, but we're not ready to buy right now. So then they brought in the survey guy, who was a bigger closer. And I mean, we just got hammered. And I, I'm not the most patient person in the world, as my husband would readily tell you. And so finally I just said, let us out of here or, you know, I'm going to have to hurt you. And, <laughs> and so we got, we got up to leave and that closer actually turned around to the other staff as we walked out and said, I lost them. Do you think we will ever buy a timeshare from that company ever? They lost us forever because they were so pushy. Being pushy does not work. Whether you're trying to sell, you know, jewelry or timeshares or whatever, it doesn't work. So you don't have to be pushy to be a fantastic recruiter. Um, let me share four thoughts with you that really helped me early on to change the way that I thought about recruiting. The first one is from one of my favorite people in the whole world, Zig Ziglar. How many of you are Ziglar fans? Oh my gosh, yeah. he the most, he's got to be the most quoted person in the history of the world. And in my first year in direct sales, I read this book called See You at the Top. And there was a quote in that book that said, you can get anything you want out of life, you just help enough other people get what they want. And that just struck a chord with me because that's exactly what recruiting is. It's, about, it's not about being pushy. It's not about selling something. It's about helping people. And if we can replace that word sell, push, with help, we think about it entirely different. We've got something to share with people. We've got an opportunity that will get them out of the house when they have toddlers and teenagers. Let me tell you, they want out. We have an opportunity that will help people make a little extra money. And you know that people would not file bankruptcy. Most people tell us this, they think they earn an extra $200 a month. Ladies, that's one way to be a party, right? Um, we've got people that just need to be at center stage. They love that. This is the perfect opportunity for them. We have teachers. Um, that love to teach. Perfect. We have nurses that love to help people. Perfect opportunity. This is a great place for a lot of people. Just share it with them and it's this win-win situation. They win, you win. The second one is that recruiting is simply sharing something you believe in with someone who will benefit from it. Do you believe in Leah Sophia? Yeah. Has it changed your life yeah. even a little bit? Are you happier? Are you better off financially? Are you having more fun? Are you more confident? If you believe in me, Sophia, there are other people out there that would benefit from it. That's all we do, we just share it with them. The next one is focus on them. I was at a, a Creative Memories convention and I was getting ready to go on the stage to do my presentation. There was two other leaders backstage that were also going to present that day. And one of the leaders said to the other leader, oh my gosh, I am so nervous, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. And she said something that I thought was phenomenal. She said, if you're nervous, you're focused on the wrong person. And that just resonated with me. If you're nervous, you're focused on the wrong person. What she was saying is, this is not about you. It's about what you have to share with all those people out there that could benefit from it. If you, if, if you didn't have something 
phenomenal to share, I wouldn't be back here in the first place. You have something phenomenal to share.